Hello everyone. We're looking at the power meter and we're looking at a test that I performed from late Monday night, not late Monday night, but six o'clock p.m. Monday night till six a.m. Tuesday morning. I did pull 10.6 kilowatt hours in 12 hour period and then recharge the battery at 11.1 .1 kilowatt hours. It's fully charged right now. Uh, I did a test to see what happens. As you can see, I used 10 and a half kilowatt hours in 12 hour period. And that's from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. as I said. But I think my family is a power hog. We use so much power it's not even funny. No wonder my power bills are high and I'm thinking about doing the solar and I'm stuck with HOA at this point. So let's talk about what I found in the last couple of days in doing these tests, the load tests, the discharge test overnight, and what are the next step in this endeavor. I ran the dryer test with my battery backup. I wanted a big, heavy, steady load on the system. Now, the dryer draws about six, six and a half kilowatt when it's drying. Unfortunately, the wires inside between the distribution box and the inverters is a four gauge. At 165 amp draw on a battery pack or basically about 80 amp draw on each inverter the wires started heating up I noticed that only after doing the test the second time I was busy checking everything else that's the reason why I added a one more wire in between the batteries however these short runs never got they never got hot they never even got warm however maybe because these wires up there are longer runs between the distribution panel and the inverters themselves they're probably getting warm for that reason because of that I have created the wires on the BMS's I added two more four gauge wires and then two more four gauge wires from BMS itself to the negative side over in the back so right now I think that will be sufficient for this power wall and I want any problems in the future now the next upgrade will be to replace the existing 4 gauge wire from distribu distribution panel to inverters replacing it with two gauge wire by windy nation and hopefully that will solve the issues because my plan is not to run more than 100 amps to each inverter even though they're rated up to 125 I decided against DC breakers I'm going to go with just the regular fuses ANL fuse at the with that is rated at 100 amps together with this wire I think it will be sufficient once I have installed everything and ran a test one more time I will update you guys on how the system performs but other than a dryer test everything else has been working flawlessly and I hope this will help somebody sometimes in the future. The batteries are sitting comfortably at 19.7 degrees Celsius. We're going to have a hard freeze tonight here in Georgia. So we'll see what the temperature is tomorrow morning as the temperatures plummet. Talk to you guys soon.